February is American Heart Month, and this is a great opportunity for cardiologists like myself to discuss heart health topics with our patients and the community. One topic that we are passionate about here at Mass General Hospital is adult congenital heart disease. Currently, there are over 1.3 million adults in the United States with a congenital heart disease, more adults than there are children. And it's critically important that these patients identify doctors who truly understand the unique nature of their heart condition. Providers and doctors and nurses who understand the natural history of these problems, the long-term complications that can happen after very early surgeries, and importantly, the age-related cardiac problems that can sometimes develop over time, such as coronary artery disease and high blood pressure, and how these may affect their congenital heart problem. At Mass General, we're proud to have a large team of doctors and nurses who work carefully in providing and are dedicated to providing unique and individualized, personalized care for our congenital heart patients. One topic that commonly comes up for our patients is exercise and family planning. We have a robust exercise program here at Mass General with an exercise laboratory where we can assess safe levels of exercise for our patients and a cardiac rehabilitation program to help patients get stronger and work towards their exercise goals. Additionally, for patients who are interested in, in starting a family, we work closely with our obstetricians and anesthesiologists to develop a safe delivery plan. Finally, we have some of the latest technologies and catheter-based advances here at Mass General that for some patients may minimize the need for repeat surgeries, such as catheter-based valve placement or advanced stent placement. Things have changed so much over the last 50 to 60 years. Even simple problems in those old days were often looked at as hopeless. Uh, with, the, with the ways that we have evolved and the progress we've made, things like atrial septal defects that can be fixed mostly in the cath lab, those that can't, we can fix them through small incisions very effectively and cosmetically appealing. Uh, there is great hope in the expectation of success, even for more complicated problems, whether they be tetralogy of Fallot, patients who have had Fontan operations. What in the old days was a hope for at least one success, uh, uh, now the expectation is that we can successfully take care of and manage most problems. As an imaging doctor, I support the care of complex adult congenital heart disease in two ways. Number one, I may help to make an initial diagnosis and determine what's causing the patient's symptoms. And number two, I may provide an imaging roadmap for interventional cardiologists to perform a catheter-based procedure or cardiothoracic surgeons to perform an open surgical procedure. Before we do any imaging, we like to look at all prior images. And at Mass General, we're fortunate to have the life image system where we can upload any prior imaging and make an official report. If it is determined that we do need to go further in image, which we don't always need to do, we have the very best CT and MRI scanners at our, at our disposal. In fact, we have such uh, tight control over the scanners that every single cardiac examination is supervised by a radiologist. We've been able to reduce the radiation doses at Mass General in cardiac CT scans by over 80% in the last five years. Once we've performed the imaging, uh, we meet jointly with our surgeons, cardiologists, pediatric cardiologists, and other imagers to review the findings and see how they relate to the care of the patient. At Mass General, we're proud of our team-based approach, and the most important member of our team is our patient, and we know they have very unique needs. So we work together to come up with a plan to allow them to live a long, healthy, and happy life.